Right, good day and welcome to another training video with me, Mr. Hambri. And today we are looking at formatting in Excel and specifically um, wrap text, merge and center and our alignment. Now, immediately you'll see here that we have an alignment section under our home tab. Okay, so let's see what each one of these items actually does. And let me type in a name, uh, John Smith uh, the third, <laughs> something like that. And you'll immediately notice that it is larger than the cell that it's in. Now, um, you can enlarge your cell. You can see by clicking on the edge of it and dragging it out. However, if you want to do it a little bit faster, you can just wait till your mouse pointer changes and double click. And it will automatically adjust the column width um, to the largest item that is in that column. So if I, for example, go in here and I delete that and I then adjust my column again, you'll see because that's the largest um, item that's in this column, it will automatically adjust to that. Okay, so um, the first thing we're going to look at, and I'm just going to make this larger. First thing we're going to look at is the alignment. So you'll see under your or in your alignment tab, um, you have a few options. You'll see as I move my mouse pointer, it actually gives me um, those little hints to tell me, listen, this is the top align, this is the middle align, and this is the bottom align. So if I click on my area or my particular cell and I click on that one, that's to align everything to the left. If I click on the middle, it's to align everything in the center and again aligning uh, whatever's in that cell over to the right. Now you'll see also if I click on these alignments, obviously it has to be bigger. Um, and let me just adjust that. In fact, let me make it bigger. And let's adjust that as well. Right, so this will make it nicer. So here we can see aligning to the left, aligning to the center, aligning to the right. So let's say we align it to the center, but I want it top center, or I want it, you know, centered. Uh, horizontally and vertically um, or I want it at the bottom uh, of that cell but still in the center so this is where we will do that generally they'll, they'll ask you to align it um, horizontally into the center and then vertically as well so that's where you will do that and then we have merge and center so let's say for example they have this um, but they tell you that they want you to merge and center the range Remember we spoke about the range A1 to, sorry, A3 to G3. So you would highlight that range and simply click Merge and Center. And what that will do is it'll pull all those cells together as one. So you'll see now when I click on these individual cells, they are individual cells. <laughs> okay. And now that I've done the Merge and Center to this range, you'll see they function as one cell. If I click that button again, you see what it does? It unmerges that. So now they are individual cells. So let me just click on that. We go merge and center. And whatever text or anything that's that's in this area, it will put it into the center. So now I can go and increase the size and say, ha ha, there's John Smith. Right. So that's the alignment. And again, I can mess with the alignment here um, however I want to. Then the last one we have is wrap text. So when I click on wrap text, it doesn't seem like anything really happens. Um, but let me add this, John Smith and his mother. Do you see what happens? The minute I type in text that is too big for the cell, what does it do? It, it keeps it in that size, but it wraps it. So in other words, it won't go over to the right hand side. It won't go anywhere outside the width of the cell. It will move it down to the bottom. Let's carry on. Uh, go to the shop. You see, it moved it down again to buy some bread for the kids around the corner. Okay, do you see that it has not gone over that width? All right. Instead, what has to now happen is that I've got to change um, the height. Row height, uh, let me just 
zoom this out so you can see I've got to change that in order to get everything in there but you'll see um, it's still all within that cell so that is what wrap text does it makes